Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Android 4.0 mini PC, also known as the MK802, and it's a little $74 computer that weighs about an ounce, has an all-winner A10 processor, and runs Google Android 4.0. And one of the first things people ask me is, sure, it runs Android, but can you use it to remotely control a Windows computer? And the answer is yes. Uh, to show you how that works, I've got a Dell computer set up here. And both devices are actually plugged into the same monitor right now, which is a 22-inch 1080p display. One is using the VGA cable, and the other is using an HDMI port. And so, just to show you here, we're running Windows 7. Got multiple applications up and running. Overall, seems pretty responsive. And I've got the Wise Pocket Cloud remote desktop uh, software running on the PC. And now we're going to go ahead and switch over to Android. By changing the input source from VGA to HDMI. Now it still looks like we're running Windows, but what's changed here is we're actually running Pocket Cloud. And you can see we've got the Android buttons here on the bottom. You've got the recent apps menu, we can go to the home screen, and so forth. And let's go back into Pocket Cloud. And so here we've got the remote desktop application. Um, Overall, you can see that the mouse cursor moves pretty nicely, and you can sort of drag around your menu options here. Uh, it's a little bit slow to do page refreshes, so let's minimize this, for instance. It goes away, but the animation isn't perfect, so you wouldn't necessarily want to use this for watching videos. But for remote controlling an application that requires Windows, it does work. Um, some of the tools are a little bit more touch-friendly than mouse-friendly, so for instance, say I want to right-click on a picture, you sort of drag this tool over so that the arrow key is pointing at it, and then you click the right button, and that brings up a context menu. Let's go ahead and uh, try opening that picture. So it opens a picture using the, the default image application. You can also use full desktop application. So let's go ahead and load uh, Notepad++ and show you that you can use it to uh, do some writing if you wanted to. And we'll do that by bringing up the keyboard and typing. Let's go ahead and get in the application. Typing. So using an on-screen keyboard is probably not the best way to do this, but right now I don't have a uh, the keyboard plugged in because I'm using my keyboard for my PC, so I'm just using a mouse. Anyways, um, we can make the keyboard go away, bring up special function keys here for F1, F2, etc. Control, Alt, Tab, switch between the keyboard and the special keys, or even bring up the Windows Start menu. I think that's what that should do. No, well, maybe not, but you can always bring it up this way. You can also sort of zoom in and zoom out. And if you really wanted to, you could use, uh, for instance, the desktop version of Google Chrome or other desktop applications. So we've got TweetDeck running in Chrome here, which gives you sort of a multi-panel view. So overall, it's kind of a neat party trick, right? You can run Windows using uh, an Android machine, but why would you actually want to do that? Um, to be honest, I wouldn't very often, but I can see how some people would. Say you've got your computer at work is on 24-7 and you need to be able to access some work files from home. This will let you do that. Say you've got a PC in your office, but you've got the Android 4.0 mini PC plugged into your television in the living room and you want to be able to access files or applications or other things without getting up and, and moving across from one room to another. Or you could copy and paste files from one to the other. Um, you know, it's sort of a way of running desktop applications without necessarily requiring a desktop operating system. Um, the disadvantage, of course, is that your Windows PC needs to be on all the time. So if you don't have Windows, you can't do this. If you don't have a PC that's turned on, you can't do this. Um, but overall, it's kind of a, kind of a neat application. And so that's Pocket Cloud. Uh, TeamViewer is another application that works similarly. There's one called Log Me In Ignition, 
and a number of other programs. Some work better than others. I found that TeamViewer, while it works really well with, you know, sort of finger-based input, uh, it doesn't work as well with a mouse. At least I haven't been able to figure out how to make it work as well with a mouse. So that's why I was demonstrating Pocket Cloud just now, uh, even though it has relatively sc slow screen refresh rates. Anyways, uh, so that's just a quick look at the Android 4.0 mini PC and its ability to function as a remote desktop uh, viewer.